doing? It's Paul from Valley Central Airsoft. Uh, I have a pretty interesting, you know, chance review for you guys today. Um, a few weeks ago, I actually won one of the EVIC Facebook contests. I won the Throwback Thursday. If I have the picture on my computer still, I'll pop it up right there. And uh, you can laugh at it because it is really an old picture. So what I actually won was a pistol. And the pistol just happened to be a WeTech 1911, uh, the Desert Warrior SOCOM 4-inch variant, uh, or 4.3 gas blowback in tan. Um, it came to me in the mail yesterday. I did a quick shooting demo, and I filmed a short review, but I didn't like it, so I decided to film another one. Um, this is the package I received. It came in some UPS shipping. Uh, real fancy. But um, it is a cool box. I mean... That's really the only reason I'm showing it. I don't normally do box reviews, but there you go. Um, came with an Airsoft Judy pinup, which honestly I think is a little silly, but you have it right there. I don't think I plan on hanging this up in my room, so that way when my friends come over, they don't make fun of me. Well, at least my non-Airsoft friends, because they'll laugh at me for that. Um, Evic sent me an Airsoft guide which is basically like, these are the safeties, this is how to load a mag. So that's actually like a really good thing for new airsofters. Um, manual, it's the basic manual you get with a WeTech 1911. Um, literally just about every single one, it, all it is. This is how you load your mag and it, it's in Chinglish. So it's a little rough. Anyway, so what, let's get to the gun. Um, it comes in the package. I'm gonna throw these manuals out of the way here. Um, it comes in very simple packaging. I mean, this ki it kind of moves around in here, so it's not exactly fun. So, you know, I, the gun better be tough if it's going to survive, like, a long-distance trip. Um, here's the pistol itself. Like I said, the WeTech 1911 Desert Warrior. So this is the short-inch variant, um, as you can tell. They have a long barrel, well, not a long barrel variant, but like a normal size 1911 variant that comes out about here. I looked it up online. Um, this pistol retails on the average website I looked on, Evic, as well as Red Wolf uh, and Megastore, but it retails for around $110. Um, it is a really nice pistol. Most, uh, Evic for some reason doesn't sell it with a mag. I guess that it, they expect if you're buying this, you have a WeTech pistol that takes the same mag. I don't know. But, mine came with one because that would be really stupid. But, here's the mag. It holds uh, 15 and one in the chamber. Um, fits in really nice. You can see it hangs out just a little bit. Um, it's a nice pistol. I mean, take a look. There's the chamber. Sights are... Hold on, let me close this. Down sights. You know, they're nice painted on on the back. The front is not painted. Um, you got a skeletonized trigger. Very nice grips, and I'm sure they're interchangeable with every other 1911 grip if you really want to. Looking at it and judging by it, because I'm not going to open this pistol, judging by everything, it looks like you would take it down just like a normal Airsoft 1911. Uh, I've never owned a WeTech or a Green Gas style 1911. Actually, the only Green Gas pistols I ever had was some knockoff Glock that my friend gave me. And, uh, what else? Oh, and I had two green gas revolvers at one point. Um, they're actually the same model. I just happened to have two of them so I could dual wield because I thought I was cool. Uh, in retrospect, it was really dumb. Um, another, a cool thing that comes with this, besides, you know, the manual and the pistol and everything, you actually have a replaceable threaded black tip. I'm sure if I really wanted to, I could pop this off and thread that in, but I don't. Now, the reason I sound so standoffish about this pistol is... I don't want it, so I'm going to sell it. Um, I would preferably like to get the retail price for it, maybe like 90 bucks. I mean, it retails, like I said, for 110 I would prefer to get maybe like 190 bucks for it. It is brand new. Uh, the shooting demo that I did is the only shooting I've done, gone through with this. So I've actually only shot like 15, like I actually can tell you, I only shot one mag. So I only shot 15 rounds out of this. I didn't put the one in the chamber. So... It sits really nice. There's no, uh, there's no trades on it, actually. It's a blank pistol. 
no trades. The sticker, that's a sticker, so don't worry about that. I'm not pulling it off. I just want that on there as proof that it's new. So that way if I come up to someone, oh, I don't believe it's new. Well, take a look at it. That's really what I want to do. Uh, let's look at the mag again. I'm going to show you guys a little bit more closely. There's the top. I know it's a little bright over here on your screen, like right there where I'm pointing. That's actually my, well, not just my editing station, but also my PC and everything. I just, you know, left it on. Um, I'm going to do a sidebar from this real quick. I want you guys to leave in your comment the way I've tried to set up the room. I mean, I really want to try and set it up a little bit better for different reviews, but this is kind of like a quick review. I still have homework I need to do tonight for my, uh, my English class and stuff like that, so... Need to finish that, I mean, but I want to also get this review out as soon as possible. So, uh, let me know. I mean, I got the Marine Corps flag here. I got the patch board. My really crappy $2 patch board is hanging up in the background here. But, uh, I mean, I'm thinking about moving it to a different place. I usually have it hanging on my wall up here. But, um, I'm thinking about actually making, like, a recording corner in this room. I want you guys' opinion for that. Uh, so stats-wise, a chronode... Uh, on Evic and on Red, on uh, Red Wolf and on Airsoft GI, the average chrono was 300 to about 330 with .2s. Um, I don't have a chronograph. I fired threes out of it, which you'll see in the shooting test, which I'm going to put at the end of the video. Um, I shot .3s out of it. It was very, very accurate. It was about, I would say, 70 feet into my backyard I was getting uh, before the BB started to drop or veer. Um, the gas efficiency was amazing. There was no, like, the gas dropped. It was same amount of gas every time. So, it was very impressive. Um, so that's really all I have to say about this pistol. It's very good. Oh, I lied. There you go. There is a trade on it. Right there. On the top. But it's really nice. You got the nice texturized front texturized rear, and it just sits really comfortably. It's a nice 1911, but, um, I switched from 1911s. I can't, uh, I can't go back to it, so. Well, I mean, I could if I wanted to, but I really don't want to. This is a nice pistol. Would I use it? Probably. Do I have a use for it? Not really. So, let's, uh, go to the shooting test. Full mag, charged with propene, and using 0.3 gram Matrix BBs. Alright, and there you have it, and there's still some gas on the mag, so the gas efficiency on this gun so far has been really well, pretty darn good. So here you have it. There you go. Just that little bit of gas left, maybe you could have got three or four more BBs out of it. Excellent. And I'm not a really a big fan of propane and green gas, so I'm actually very impressed with this pistol. Ah, uh, welcome back. So, that's really my real final thoughts on this. Nice pistol for $100. This could probably be one of the nicest pistols you could get for $100, especially for a brand new airsofter. Um, I could see this as more of an indoor gun or for someone that lives in the south of the United States or just in a more tropical area. Um, being from the Northeast, it's kind of hard to have green gas pistols because you know what the thing is? When it comes to green gas, it doesn't perform well in the cold. So right now, it's still too cold here for me to use this pistol. I still have to would have to use CO2. Um, CO2, I think, gets a little bit more efficiency out of it, but f green gas, this 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 impressed me, honestly. Um, I don't like green gas pistols, but this one, this one impressed me. So, next time I get a pistol, who knows? I might go green gas, so we'll see what happens. Um, so, those are the final thoughts on my WeTech 1911 Desert Warrior So Calm. Um, please, if you would like to purchase this from me, Leave me a comment or send me a message or reach out to me on Facebook. Also, I'd like it if you guys that watch our videos on the regular, please visit our Facebook page. But uh, if you want it, send me a message. Anyway, this is uh, Paul from Valley Central Airsoft. Happy airsofting.